Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, today's article comes from WCCFTech.com, and as usual, I will leave a link in the description of the video so you guys can click on the article for yourself and read it in its entirety. Now, AMD's Vega features have been leaked. Now, according to the article, it's going to have four times efficiency, two times performance per clock, eight times capacity per HBM stack, and it's going to have a next generation compute engine. Now, the features of AMD's upcoming Radeon RX 500 series Vega architecture have been discovered in the code of the just launched Vega teaser site, and they're incredible impressive. The company's upcoming next generation Vega architecture is due for a major preview at CES on Thursday, less than three days away. However, thanks to our crafty friends over at 3D Center, we have managed to dig up some major yet unreleased details regarding the brand new architecture and you don't have to wait one more minute. All the details have been pulled from within the code base of the Vega teaser website, which not only makes it the biggest Vega leak yet, it also makes it the most significant because of its impeccable auth authenticity and accuracy. So without any further delay, let's get to the juicy bits. Now it's going to feature uh, four times power efficiency over Polaris, which is incredible, two times peak, peak throughput performance per clock, it's going to have a high bandwidth cache, two times bandwidth per pin, eight times capacity per stack, and it's going to be second generation high bandwidth memory. It's going to have 512 terabyte virtual address space, next generation compute engine, next generation pixel engine, next compute unit architecture, rapid packed math, a draw stream binning rasterizer, and primitive shaders. Now, as you can see here on the um, graph here, you can see the differences that it has over Polaris uh, and, and what it has over Fiji, uh, which was the architecture before that. Now, of course, it's going to be under 14 nanometer, just like Polaris, but the uh, teraflops is greatly increased. It's uh, more than double. So now you see RX480 has 5.8 teraflops. The Vega 10 is going to have 12.5 teraflops of performance, and it's going to have 25 teraflops of performance at FP16 calculations. Now the memory is going to be using 16 gigabyte or 18 gigabyte of HBM2. Now the uh, memory bus is so much more improved over uh, Polaris. Polaris had 256 bit. The Vega 10 has 2048 bit memory bus. Now the bandwidth is also improved. It's about double. It's going to be at 512 gigabytes. And the um, the power consumption is a little bit higher. It's going to be 300 watts, but it's going to have a higher efficiency. So I believe they're going to be able to scale that down. Now, if you know anything about Polaris, there's uh, like Wattman, there's different modes where it takes a lot less power. Anyhow, at 300 watts for the performance that you're getting, that's not too bad when you really uh, put it into uh, perspective. Now, I'm going to read a little bit more of the article here. It says, according to the newly dug up data from Vega, it delivers four times the graphics performance at the same power compared to AMD's previous generation. There isn't much detail to expand upon here in terms of context. However, it's very clear that AMD is referring to half precision compute, which would mean that Vega delivers double the single precision compute at the same power. This is the most impressive figure of the bunch. Doubling the power efficiency of a graphics architecture whilst maintaining or boosting performance is an incredibly challenging engineering feat. One that's made even harder in the case of Vega, considering that it's built on the same 14 nanometer manufacturing process as Polaris. If it stands true, then AMD engineers would have pulled nothing short of a miracle. Now, I got to say, I'm really, really excited. We've been uh, waiting for concrete Vega information for a long time. We've had a lot of speculation. We've had some various leaks that came up before, but they weren't too much with the information and you know it was a lot of speculation now this leak is coming from the code that is buried within amd's actual site so this can't be denied because it's 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 coming from their own site and um as you can see some of the pictures here um here let me go down here uh, actually let me go over to to uh neogaf because neogaf has a uh, some uh, pictures here so as you can see you know this comes from their site here they break it down here And I got to say, it seems like the guys over at Microsoft are, are getting very excited as well because Greenberg yesterday went on Twitter and he said that, um, what did he say here? I'm going to get his exact uh, tweet. He said, it's 2017, the year of Project Scorpio. Are you ready for the beast? Now, the fact that Microsoft is so confident is telling me that Vega is going to be incredible. Now, we know that the Xbox Scorpio is going to be using the Vega architecture because Phil Spencer himself said it will be using AMD's latest technology. And uh, by the time that uh, Scorpio comes out, which is, I believe, holiday 2017, of course, Vega is going to be the latest architecture from AMD. And 
it's been highly speculated as well that the Xbox Scorpio is going to be running the Zen CPU. So it's going to be quite a beast. I, I got to say, I'm, I'm quite excited. Um, for those of you that uh, follow my channel, you do know that I do game on PC as well. So this is exciting for PC. Now, if it's going to be 12.5 teraflops of performance on a single card, this beats out the GTX 1080. Now, going by AMD's track record, it should be priced much cheaper than the NVIDIA alternative, which is the GTX 1080. And with 12.5 teraflops of performance, you'll be getting 4K 60 frames per second ultra on all the games because the GTX 1080 at 9 teraflops, I believe it's 9 teraflops overclocked about 10 teraflops. Right now, it's doing about 4K 60 frames per second on most games and on other games, 4K 50 frames per second. So, of course, we're going to get a much higher uh, performance increase with the Vega architecture and, of course, with 12 0.5 teraflops of performance. Now, I want to know if you guys are excited out there. Uh, are you guys going to hold off and get the Scorpio now, knowing that it's going to be running the Vega architecture and the advancements that it has over the Polaris, which the PS4 Pro is running? And for you PC gamers out there, are you excited that AMD is finally going to have a one card solution for 4K 60 frames per second gaming? Anyways, I want to know what you guys think down below, so please leave your comments down there. I ask you guys to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.